welcome, welcome to Crafty Clegs. My name is Jeanette and I'm coming to you today from the northwest of England where I live with my husband. Hello. Timothy and our little dog Zach. Um, today is the 21st, is it? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll put it down on the screen. Anyway, as you can see, we're in the car and we're going out for the day. We are going over to Homefirth where we've decided we're going to have lunch out or possibly purchase lunch and take it back because it's quite early and we might not be ready for a big portion of fish and chips by the time we've finished. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I mentioned we're going to home first. We are now currently traveling through all the lovely countryside. Um, so I will swish you around and we've got a beautiful day. So it'd be nice scenery for you to look at and I will show you where we're traveling. So we're on our way home now. We've had a really, really nice day in home first. And I'm just doing a few rounds on my Gretel sock. This sock is taking a long time, but I don't mind because I really, really love it. Probably got, I don't know, maybe another, let's have a look. What would you say? Another 30 rounds and then ready for me toe. Sorry, the, the road's a bit bumper. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm working on while we're travelling home. The views up here are phenomenal. You can't see very well because the sun is actually shining into the camera, so you're not getting a really good view. But look at that. I love coming for rides up here. The reservoir is dropping, dropping down to the reservoir. So. Oh, right. I'll show, I'll show you the reservoir when we get to it. There's the reservoir. There's some really nice, um, oh, what they call them? Like cabins. Cabins. Like. Some really nice, like, log cabins that you can stay round the reservoir. You know, if you want an, a little overnight stay out somewhere. Sorry about the shaky camera, but this road is really bumpy. So, good evening, everybody. We are back from our little day out, and I have to say, I'm shattered. I'm absolutely shattered. We walked a lot. Um, we stopped and had coffee and then we walked for another couple of hours. Not that there's that much to see, but we just had a really nice walk around all down the little nooks and crannies, you know, like little tiny streets that you think, I wonder what's down here. It was really nice. Um, 
And then we had an ice cream and we was just, I said to Tim, I can't have fish and chips for my dinner. I am so full. So we decided to save us cooking in tonight when we got back, we would get fish and chips and bring them home. So at the moment they are in the oven. It is now about six o'clock. Um, they are warming up in the oven. So we've had a lovely day. It's been really nice. Um, I've still got my headache. I cannot get rid of this headache. And it's not a bad one. It's just one that's just, you know, lingering just a little bit. And when you shake your head, I mean, I said to Tim, it hurts when I shake my head. He said, well, don't shake your head then. Typical man, isn't it? Um, so while we're just waiting for dinner, I thought I'd come on and show you my Mrs. Claus. I'd finished her. Are you ready for this? Oh, she's as cute as anything. <gasps> Isn't she lovely? Now, I did want to do Mr. Claus, Santa Claus. I did want to do Father Christmas, Santa Claus, St. Nicholas, whatever you'd like to call him. I did want to do him, but I've run out of red. Now, there was a little um, craft shop in Home First today, but it was more for... There was a, a, a yarn section in the craft shop but it was only tiny and they didn't have any of this it was more for paper crafting as in um paintings and drawings and things like that so i might start tonight there's a little elf i have read one of my comments today off sue hi sue and thank you for letting me know i've looked and there's a little elf that i think i might make until i can get hold of some more red Rikurumi. Um, I am also going to tonight think I'm going to finish off my gnome. Um, I've got my gnome bag here um, because we're having a quick dinner tonight and I've got no chores to do. It is just crafting night. So I'm going to try and get the gnome's arms, legs and beard finished and that's done. And then I'd like to make the little elf um, but I, before I went out this morning, I had a mad half hour in my craft room and it looks like a bomb as it it. I am trying to move it all around and get rid of things. When I say rid of things, I'm getting rid of papers that I don't need and trying to condense them into better storage boxes and one thing and another, just so I can fit my, um, a desk in there. I want a desk for my paper crafting. So, yeah, I started a mad half hour of that this morning before I decided to go out. I don't know why I did, because it's in a complete disarray now. But the weekend's coming, and we haven't got any plans for that. So, hopefully, I'll be able to get some done then. Um, So, I will show you our fish and chips when we get it out. Um, But I've nothing else to show you, really, because it will just be eating dinner, and then I'm going to get a shower, I'm going to sit and craft, and that's going to be it. So um, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all your wonderful comments. I haven't got round to replying to some of them still. I will do that tonight, hopefully. And like I say, if I haven't got round to commenting, please don't think I'm ignoring you. It's just that there's quite a lot of them and I will eventually get round to it. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for your subs for subscribing and liking and commenting. It's been absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. So for now, I'm going to say good night. There's our fish and chips. They're ready. And I'm going to enjoy my fish and chips, which I will put a picture of in. Okay, then. Thank you very much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. So we're just about to eat our dinner. I'm having fish, chips and peas. And Tim's having fish and chips and we're going to eat our dinner tonight in front of the fire. <laughs>